Hey guys, just making another video since it's no fun to hang out on anybody else's chat. Stupid Amethyst Pisces has become Modzilla number two, the evil's dark spirit that was living inside of Saint Crazy Fucking Mo is now sitting inside Crazy Amethyst Fucking Pisces in her fake fucking name. I got kicked off of three fucking things because of mods, not the creator, the arrogant, self-assuming, power-hungry, power-crazy psycho mods. What a drag. And I thought Arkansas and uh, Amethyst Pisces were friends of mine. No, they involve themselves in, a, in, themselves in other people's conversations. They pick fights, tell you to calm down, and then block you for no reason. Same thing with Mo. A pit, look, guys, Jimmy and Ernie, and Ernie, and God knows, God knows, you know, but Jimmy... If someone's paying you, you don't time them out. You don't let your mods get in. The, the mods are not there to, to infuse themselves into fights with other people. I'm an adult woman. I'm almost 60, okay? I'm older than all of you people. You don't tell me. You don't pick a fight with me and then blame me and time me out. You're, you're little children to do that to me. Would you do that to the Queen of England? And if you did, guess what she'd think of you, Okay. You're just little idiots for doing that. You're, we are adults. Your you're mod thing, J Jimmy, your mods are going to are ruining your channel. I've already, you already have $240 of mine. I'm supposed to get t-shirts. One of them was for you. I still don't have my t-shirts. I'm patient, Jimmy, but what I'm not patient with is being timed out. Five minutes? You time me out for five minutes? Do you know much how, how much happens in five minutes? Somebody can say hi to you and you can't get back to them for five minutes. They're going to think you blew them off. You mods are, you, your brains are melting. You're just getting stupid and mean. It's really sad. And you're, you actually are ruining your Jimmy's chat. And then Tiffany comes in there and she actually defended me and said, don't time out Team Rose. Thank you, Tiffany. You know, whatever for thank you. You know, I, I have been nothing but supportive to your dad. Nothing but supportive. And he knows it. He compliments me. He finally gives me some fucking credit. And then these mods are timing me out. And he doesn't even realize it or, you know... You mods ruin it for these creators. Lisa didn't time me out. I'm about to make a video where Lisa says to, she says, did Team Rose get timed out? And they were like, yeah. And she's like, I don't want Team, Ro Time Rose, Team Rose timed out. I love Team Rose. And I'm going to show you this section of her video. And then Betty's like, well, uh, she said things mean, mean things about us. No, I didn't, Betty. Stop lying about me. I didn't say mean things about you, us. You're just like Mo. Same fucking thing. You think that you're the top mod and that you control another person's life. You don't grow up. Get over yourself. You're ruining my time. God, I would never make you a mod. Never. I thought you were cool. You are not cool. You, this mod thing is, it just sucks. Jimmy's finally, you know, and now the mods ruin it again, once again. I didn't think I would get timed out over there tonight. It seemed like all the... Good mods. Like, oh, it's just so gross. You, you, you ruin it. You ruin it. And, you know, it does make a grown woman cry. After a while, when three channels, all of whom are people that I like. Lisa, Daisy, and Jimmy. All of three would never time me out, but you fucking mods get in there. You get in other people's businesses. You pick fights. You know, you had this stupid mystic psycho bitch is picking a fight with me about about Ernie Shell and the water. And, uh, and, and, and then Amethyst Pisces gets in there in the middle of it and then starts bashing me. And I, I am doing nothing. You, your mods are ruining your show again, Jimmy. You people don't know how to grow up and you don't know who Jimmy really is. This is Jimmy's fucking show. Not yours, Amethyst Pisces, who I wish I could block. You know, when people do me wrong and they do me dirty, I don't go back to them like other people do. I'm not all lovey-dovey, friendy-friendy. Ew, how can you go back to people like that? I'm not like that. I hold a grudge for a long fucking time. You're not going to treat me like shit and expect me to go back. I did that with my family. It did. It got me nowhere. I don't need you people. West, West, somebody, wicked West, giving me shit about the water? You shut up. I don't want to be, you know, we're not friends anymore. You think we're friends? You went out of your way to infuse yourself in a negative way towards me about something between me and Ernie Shell. I have my own relationship with the guy. 
It's none of your fucking business, women who need to control everything with your fucking need to control everything. Get lost. He's an individual man. He's his own man. Do you men have your own? Are you or your own men or not? I had to do the same fucking thing with Jimmy. Fight for Jimmy. Jimmy, are you your own man? Can I have my own relationship with you? Or is every fucking thing I say controlled by these arrogant psycho mods? Are you a grown adult man? Do I have my own relationship with you, Jimmy? Or are you just a, a, some, someone who's manipulated by a bunch of other fucking women? Who are you, guys? What about you, Ernie? Are you your own man? Or are you just something that's now manipulated by a bunch of psycho women from fucking hell? Okay, I like my own relationships with people. You little controlling mods, get the fuck out of my life. Are we still friends? Wicked West? You have been doing nothing but bashing me lately. I'm blocking you, bitch. Are you kidding me? You think we're still friends? De-escalate. What? Didn't somebody block me because of you? And then they blocked both of us because you wouldn't shut the fuck up and they were blaming it all on me? I was having my own good time. I went there to have a good time, which I need for my mental health. And you mods pick on me for no reason. You have this hang up about the fucking water, which makes you seem very suspicious. And Ernie Shell is fucking in trouble. He's in fucking trouble. Don't tell him that. He'll be scared. Yeah, be scared, Ernie. Because these people don't. They're after you. And you better watch your fucking step. You're too trusting. You're targeted. And that's it. And you don't have anyone that I see that I would trust. I mean, Lisa, I guess. Because she seems more calm than me. I mean... I don't know. Obviously, I like Tina, you know? She's not going to poison you. These other people are going to poison you. She will not poison you. She will use earth medicine, which is what you're supposed to use. Oils with, with, from earth with, with plants that have been soaking for a while. It friggin' heals you. Tinctures from earth. You know, it works. This shit works. You could, read, you could have control over your body. You could have control over these attacks. More control? You're going to get on medication now that does God knows what to God knows how with God knows what side effects. You have no idea. Now you're going to be pushed and shoved into taking God knows what and you have no idea because you because but there is knowledge on earth medicine and what to take and what now. You know, everyone's going in the wrong fucking direction. You don't want to use earth medicine then get off of earth. Yes. Poppies make heroin. Yes. Everything is made from the earth at some point. Yes. But if you want to take everything manipulated and then this and then spread with an extra plasticky, metallic-y weirdo poison on top of it, look up polysorbate 80, motherfuckers. Look up all the red dyes and the blue dyes and the number 40s and see what you find. Look up the things that cause cancer, bitches. You don't think the government's out to kill you is your you, you know, you're stupid. They poison, they, but don't you watch these movies that are based on real life where these companies poison the water and then some guy goes in there. I just watched this movie on the plane with this fucking guy. It's really good with the, one of my favorite actors. Oh, I can't think of his name, but he plays this lawyer who, who for this big wig company, trying to be a big wig and then finds out that this, this, this um, factory in his own hometown, was poisoning everybody and poisoning the farms and the cows. And everybody's getting sick and dying. It's horrible. And he decides to go in there and expose it. And he has to pay a big price. And it's really, it's, but it's a true story. They do poison us. They do, po you know, when I, when I first moved to California back, you know, when my daughter was in eighth grade, and I was struggling to walk really badly. And I was I thought I was doing better. I had done a lot of work on myself. Well, when I got out there, I was drinking the tap water and I was in, I was inviting this whole new bunch of toxins into my body. And I have a hip pain right now that I did not expect. And and if I didn't have the kind of healer that I have, the kind of doctor that I have, she's a regular t trained Western medical doctor who learned energy medicine, energetic medicine from Dr. Wong Ken, who passed it on to her, this really wonderful, nice woman who is now retired. She helped me and my mother so much. 
Her medicine, which she got from Dr. Camu, uh, Wong Ken, was the best. And she used tinctures and homeopathy and mineral salts and all this stuff, su supportive supplements and just all kinds of amazing things that worked on the genetic level, the DNA. And this is the kind of thing Ernie would have been, I think Ernie would have benefited from it, um, you know, because, because it's natural medicine. It's a kind of, you know, not, I mean, huh. And I, oh, the healing is amazing. And um, uh, she's now retired, you know, and it's really, I needed her. So, but she was trained with re regular Western medicine doctor. That's how she was trained. Then she learned this new training. So she had both, just like Dr. Wong Ken. He also had training in both Western medicine and alternative medicine. And those are the kinds of doctors I like the best because they do both. They're not just hung up and under some Nazi fucking mind control. You know, and, um, you know, when you're, when your issues are random and unexpected and you don't always have pain, it's really scary to think about taking something when, for every day when you don't feel it every day. And you don't know, I never knew when the flare ups were going to happen. And just like with Ernie, he, he, I think there's a relationship with, with cars and with rental cars and with driving alone. And I don't think he should drive alone. I think he does need a buddy and it's hard to find the perfect buddy. You know, but he does need a buddy, and um, I don't know why he was alone. I don't understand. Oh, he's going to see Tiffany, maybe. And then something stopped him from seeing her. He's always getting stopped. It's really crazy. But anyway, I when I was out there, I was really suffering. In fact, I was trying to fly back home when my ex and his wife showed up, and I was trying to go back to Maine because I didn't want to be there when they were there. And I was in, I was so crippled up; it was almost like somebody had taken a Cupid doll and stuck a and stuck a needle in my hip. Just that's the way the pain was, and I made videos about it too. I was totally unexpected. It was so bad I couldn't get on the plane. I didn't want to take painkillers because at the time I felt strongly that if I could live through these episodes, I had convinced myself that if I could live through these painful episodes and just get through them, that my body would be healed. But instead of getting on the plane, which I paid for, I was trapped in the apartment, crawling on the floor. And I had no idea what triggered the response. I didn't know what to do. It could have been stress. It could have been something I ate. I didn't know. Well, anyway, I get on the phone with my healer who should, can do remote healings. And she said the water that you're drinking has all these heavy metals in it that are that are more than I've ever seen and you've got to stop drinking the water well it took me a while to understand that I really had to stop drinking the tap water I was like stupid and I didn't I was like what do you mean I get my water from the tap like I didn't I never thought I had to buy all my water and I had no idea and I was constantly being told by my friend Richard who has since passed on passed away he was always saying to me Back in, in, uh, back in Maine, he would say, your house has copper pipes and you might be getting sediment. You need a filter on your, your water. You need a filter on the house. You can't drink this water. And he kept saying it and I refused to believe it because I just didn't want to deal with it. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? So finally got the, finally got a filter and I did have a filter, but it took a long time for me to get that thing changed to have someone strong enough who could do it. Finally, Richard did it, but it was a big deal to change it. And you had to do it every year. It was definitely not something I was going to do because I just didn't have the physical strength to do it, you know? Um, but, um, so, uh, so I learned a lot about the water. So now, so after that experience, I finally stopped drinking the water out there. And finally, uh, the pain, I started getting the healthier. But before that, even though I was still drinking the main water, before I moved to California, I was drinking the California heavy metal water. The main water was bad for me too, but I had done, I was somehow on able to have some good days and some bad days, but I didn't relate it to the water, which I should have, but I, now I know. And then once I got off of tap water in both states, in all states, and always bought my water, my whole body changed. So I have been dealing with water that is toxic, that water, call it poisoned. I, yeah, I call it poisoned, and I am going to be attacked for the rest of my life over that, even over Jimmy's? I've been a paid member of Jimmy's for a long fucking time. Jimmy and I get along fine. We don't need you people involving yourself. If you don't like me, block me. 
Block me. Don't pick a fucking fight with me and then tell me how to act. You you people who think it's okay to pick a fight with, with, with someone, get gaslight them, and then say, oh, you're acting like this and that. It's like, I am so sick of dealing with this shit. I've been dealing with the same fucking shit for fucking years. My whole fucking life, it's the same fucking thing. You, you fucking assholes who pick fights, gaslight people. You really make me sick. You really make me sick. And you shouldn't do it. And it, it, you know what? I, I, I'm not over it because you keep doing it. You keep doing it. Who the fuck are you? I know that Lisa agrees with me. I know that Daisy agrees with me. And I know that Jimmy agrees with me. And, uh, and Ernie, God knows who's he's, what's he's, who's he's, what's he's. I mean, I, I have no idea. Jimmy would never block me. No. And his daughter doesn't block me either. It's you discuss it. You don't just time sh someone out and shut them up. You want to have you want you want to discuss it. Discuss it. Then discuss it. You don't time someone out. Do you get it? It's not about you choosing to in involve yourself in somebody else's conversation and time them out. It's not about you. In fact, nothing was about these fucking mods. It was not about Amethyst fucking Pisces and that fucking Arkansas. It wasn't about either one of you, but you made it about you, and then you took it upon yourself. See, you guys are going nuts in a really bad way. I don't like it. And I'm going to say how I feel about it on my channel. I'm not kissing your ass. Who the fuck are you? I had to sit there and kiss the ass or ignore that fucking fake Saint Maud Mo, bitch. You know? Who I almost weirdly feel sorry for and I have no idea why she terrorized me for such a long time. You know? And, and apparently... You know, she she makes these these videos over there with Avery. The two of them, I believe, did hire a hitman. I can believe that if I want. I would not put it past them. They are sick individuals who feel this need to bash another human being for no fucking reason. They had no reason to bash me, and then they could not fucking stop. They would hunt me down, follow my Facebook page, and then shit on me, just like Ernie. Same fucking thing. For no reason, they just don't like you. In Ernie's case, it's different because they do have a reason. They want to stop him from solving crimes. They want to stop him from rescuing our children because they want to use and abuse our children still without anybody getting in the way like Ernie Shell. They don't want Ernie Shell to come in there with his valor stealing, police impersonating, impersonating bitch self and 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 steal the glory. He doesn't, he's not going to allow this big goat man to come in there and hem and haw and kick up dirt and try to pretend he's solving a crime when he's obviously covering up the crime and only the stupid people can't see it. Because he uses interesting words every now and then that normal people don't use because he's a fantastical beast from another realm. It's called a Baphomet. Oh, she's being very dramatical. <laughs> Way. What realm are you from and how did you get through into this world with through what portal? Some weird tunnel cave underneath some hills in Tennessee? Huh. Holy shit. There's a whole world under there. There's a giant fucking mountain under there. Yeah. You ever notice? Some people want to pretend the trafficking ring isn't there. See, somebody blocked me over at Daisy's, and it was really weird because Daisy shares my comments. She always has. She's always shared my comments because she likes my comments, and she shares a lot of people's comments. I'm not the only one, obviously. She shares a lot of people's comments, but she does also share mine. She doesn't share everybody's comments, but she does share mine, and she does seem open-minded, and she is willing to talk about it. She doesn't believe that it's trafficking that killed Summer Wells, but... I think that it was both a pre-planned sale and an accident. But according to the psychics, she was sold and still alive. And uh, she didn't just die on that property. But then again, BK seems to be involved. And a lot of people just are blank to that. But, but uh, Candace told Ernie Shell about BK's involvement. She was very hesitant. Somehow he pulled it out of her, but then he wasn't allowed to share that. Or he gave all of the information to the LE and the TBI, and they do nothing. 
Oh, are they doing something? I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. Well, I don't imagine that they will do something because they're trying to hide the whole fucking cover up. They're trying to cover up the whole thing. That's what I believe. I'm allowed to believe what I want to believe. Then people are in there like, don't spread lies. It's all alleged. Yeah, it's all alleged, bitch. It's all alleged because every single player in the whole damn thing is lying through their teeth. And they've been lying through their teeth their whole life. They whole life. Because people who've been sexually abused, they lie through their teeth their whole life, okay? Oh, now on someone's channel, you're not allowed to... You can't say this. You can't say that. Shut up. This is America. I'll tell you what. On my channel, you're going to say what you want to say. If these assholes come in and want to talk about the poisoned fucking water and never stop talking about that, you know, I would have somebody in there just blocking that person. Oh, I am pissed at that amethyst Pisces. What? I'm pissed at her. She, she, she and I are done. She and I are done. Done, done, done. See, I'm not going to... I'm like done. Now I'm done. See, I'm, I'm, I'm calling it in or out, kid. Like Betty Washam. You got to be in or you got to be out. You got to pick and choose. And now she, they're all frenzy wensies. I don't know who... I don't get it. You know, I, I, I am pretty... I am pretty accepting... I am really sick and tired of Wicked West Paranormal giving me shit about water. He said it doesn't fucking taste good and it's making it worse. If you think he should keep drinking something that makes him feel bad, you, in my opinion, you're cruel and you're dangerous. You think I've got problems? We are on the opposite side of the fence, okay? You know, Ernie Shell, he can have a lot of people on his channel if he wants. He doesn't have to have anybody he doesn't want. He's starting to get, oh, this and that if you're on it and making choose, but then he goes back. I mean, I don't know. I'll tell you one thing. I don't swerve on people. I don't go back and forth like that. I decided I like Lisa. I'm sticking with it. I, I like Lisa. You know. I like Tina and Xander. Lisa. I don't. You know. To me is a real human being. Um, those are pretty rare these days. Now she's asking for money on Cash App? I'm, I'm like, does everybody get in cloned? I don't even know. Is, I mean, I, I, what? She's with Betty Washam. I'm getting blocked. They're up there dancing and begging for money? To do what? Where's Ernie? He's not even on there. So I go back to Dolly. Jimmy's like, Jimmy, he's like, yeah, let's hang out. He's like acknowledging the fact that we have to take a whole day to do my shirts. And uh, that one of my shirts was for him. He doesn't remember what it is. It's called the mission. That's because you don't remember the mission. You better remember the mission so I don't have to wring your neck when we get home. <coughs> you know? Oh, Betty doesn't like the fact that I said, why are you watching my videos, Betty? Why don't you get off my channel or confront me directly, Betty? You don't like the fact that I remember a past life where I had a child with Ernie Shell? What's it to you? It's between me and Ernie Shell. If I want to put it on my channel, I'll put it on my fucking channel. I didn't invite you over here. I didn't put a gun to your head, Betty. I'm not making you watch my channel what I think. I can say what I want. You don't like it? Who the fuck are you? Why is it all about you, Betty? You know, people like you and me. They like both of us. They don't want to see us fighting. They'd like to see everybody to get together. But I don't really like your whole thing. Why should I like you? You're the most jealous fucking bitch. And you know, you're so busy telling other people and other women how they feel. Why don't you tell us how you feel, Betty? If you're, if you're worried about me and Ernie Shell, I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> Obviously, I'm never getting together with Ernie Shell, unfortunately. What are you worried about, Betty? I can have my past life memories. It has nothing to do with you. Is everything about you, Betty? Am I allowed to have a past life memory with another human being that doesn't involve you, Betty? Or are you too narcissistic that we've got to make it about you, Betty? Damn it, Betty. And guess what, Betty? 
You and Mo, St. Mo, you think that you are some sort of a collective we, but you're not. You're just you. She, too, had that same problem of thinking that every time I talked about her, St. Mo, fake St. Mo, she, I was somehow talking about them, this collective. No, Mo, just you. And Betty, just you. You can't be like, it's all about me, and then be like, it's all about us. No, Betty. It's all about you and only you. I don't know who your fake may named modded friends are, okay? Now, if you've got friends who love you and me and they, and they don't like me bashing you, then why don't you stop bashing me, Betty? Huh? You worried about me and Ernie? Why? Are you worried about our deep connection? Do you need to make sure we're never friends? Why, Betty? Don't worry, Betty. I'm not going to have Ernie. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry, Betty. Not to worry, Betty. You want to feed him poisoned water? It's his choice to listen to you and drink poisoned water or not. I'm not saying you're going to poison his water. I thought you were more health conscious than that. I thought you had actually a little bit more clue about what's going on in the world. I didn't realize you were sucked into the same old Nazi bullshit. Unfortunately, that's what you are, but you know, hey, people can always learn and grow. You guys are on there dancing and shaking your booty for money. That's what this world comes to, huh? I like Lisa. I've always liked Lisa. You know, I could see kind of why, a sort of ish, where they might have had a conflict, you know. Um, I don't know everything, of course, just what I saw and what I could imagine. Um, you know, but people grow and evolve and... You know, sometimes people stick together and get through stuff. That's what a marriage is supposed to be like, you know? That's what, you, that's what you're supposed to be like when you're a family. But then his family was torn apart, Ernie Shell, And Jimmy still got his brothers for the most part, I think, you know? My family was torn apart. And my, for me. Uh, you know? Um, I guess there comes a point where you're just like... I, I thought I was going to get along with Betty. Now she's lying about me? It's none of her fucking business what I say. Betty, if you want to make it your business what I say, then talk to me about it. Don't talk about me behind my back. You know? Don't sit there and bash me. You, you really think that you're going to turn Lisa against me? I can see that's what you're going to try. I don't, I'm not going to let you. I mean, you could. You could make it so miserable for me that I don't want to go back. Like what happened with White Rabbit. I was like, ah, shit. Mo's going to take away White, White Rabbit. Um, and she did, but it wasn't just Mo. It was all these other fucking monsters. They just, I don't know what it is. Why people care? I was like, hey, I'm just Team Rose. I'm just me. I'm just a person. I'm just over here doing my own thing. Why do you have to give me so much shit just because I'm also in the chat? You know how many people are in the fucking chat? I don't agree with half those people. I don't sit there and bash those people and act like I need to control everything. If the guy says the water doesn't taste good, then don't fucking drink it. Is this really hard for other people to understand? I've been poisoned twice. It's amazing I fucking lived it all. You know, he could get poisoned and not make it. I Hopefully he'll make it, you know? <sighs> Jesus Christ. You know, it's, it's small stuff. It's small stuff, but it's big stuff. It's like it should be small. I, why are you timing people out? It makes people feel so... All you do when you time other people out is make people feel bad. That is all you are achieving. You are achieving making people feel bad and making people not like a channel and not want to go there. Do you think you're doing something good by timing people out for five fucking minutes? Do you know how much goes by in five minutes and you can't say anything? You little bitches. You're pathetic, you're arrogant, and you're not even, you don't hold up to your arrogance. You think you're so great, and you just proved that you're not, that you're just a, a lowlife 
You don't let people st talk because you don't like, you get in the way of somebody else's conversation and decide to shut people up. What are you, a bunch of Nazi control freaks? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. What do I mean by here? My world. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, drink the poisoned water. Yeah, those people who wanted you to keep putting something in your body that's bad for you, tell those people to fuck off. He'll probably be modding those people next week. Yeah, give them all mods, Ernie. Give them all wrenches, Ernie. Give everybody who turned against you at some point wrenches. Yeah, good. I'll be the only one that doesn't have a wrench on your channel because I'm the only one who didn't turn on you. Now you got this big fat fucking bitch, Betty, not Lisa, Betty, just Betty, just Betty, that's it, just Betty, not Lisa and Betty, not you and a bunch of other people, Betty, just you, just you, just you, Betty, singularly you, Betty, all about you, Betty. Stop making videos about me. No, because you keep talking about me, Betty. I'll do what I fucking want. You want to fight with me over Ernie? You win, bitch. He gave you a wrench, not me. You win, bitch. I win nothing. I don't even get nothing. I get nothing, okay? I get kicked out because I love a guy and want to see him do well and, and want to support him. I get kicked out because of you, Betty, and your big fat fucking ego. Sorry, people, if you hate me now because I'm not going to be pushed around by fucking Betty. I already lost. You already won, okay, bitch? What else do you need to do? You want to kick me out all the way? You're going to deny Lisa of my magic? You going to let her, Lisa? You going to let Betty bully you and tell you who to like on your channel? Huh, Betty? Little Miss Control? Am I talking about you, us? No, Betty. Just you. Can't imagine that, can you? Why? Because a narcissist thinks it's all about just them when it's good. But when it's bad, it's not her at all. It's them. It's a whole group. Right, Narcy? Should I call you Narcy, Betty? <sighs> can't have Ernie Shell, Team Rose. No, you can't have Ernie Shell. You got too many bitches like Betty. Bitchy Betty. Should I call you Bitchy Betty? You don't want me to call you... What, you don't want me to use your name... What should I call you then? Betty the bitch? Betty the control freak? Betty the narcissist? Betty who thinks that she, it's all about Betty? Now Ernie Shell, who is not Betty, has to be all about Betty. Now Betty's taking over Lisa. Is Betty going to take over Tina and Xander? I don't think so. I don't think Tina and Xander are going to be taken over by fucking Betty. God, please. Oh, well, you guys can dump me if you want to. I'm only going to the turtle's house when the bitches aren't there, when the bitches are banned. I'm going to say, Jimmy, you got to ban those bitches while we have our day that I paid for. I paid for that, bitches. And you, Amethyst, Pisces, you just took money away from your big hero, Jimmy, the turtle, the team turtle tortoise. The big turtle king. Yeah, because when you guys tie me out, I want to give nothing. I've already, I'm already in. 240 bucks has not been, um, you know, accounted for. I know you're going to make good on it when the timing is right. But I don't need a bunch of assholes in there, okay? You and I want to do a show together and you and we make it live. Keep all your little mod bitches out. I'm not doing it with you, but you owe me 240 fucking dollars. And I want it in t-shirts and fucking soap. Okay? Soap. I'm really sorry that you're allowing these mod bitches to ruin your channel. I'm a paid member. No one who pays should be timed out by a mod. The mods are supposed to be to only timing out trolls. Paid members are not trolls. They wouldn't pay if they were trolls. Are you guys stupid? Anyway, I'll be back. Love you.